guys, so today I'll be showing you how you can fix and revive your old slime so they're just like new. The slime I have here, as you can see, is so old. It has like a thick layer of slime, of dried up slime on it. And this was my black butter slime and I left it outside without a cover for about a week. And this is what happened. And as you can see, the bottom part is totally fine, but the top part is what is dried up and I think I can fix it. So the first thing you want to do is, I know it sounds weird, but just start cutting up your slime. And it doesn't really matter how neatly you cut it. Just make sure that it's cut into small pieces enough so it can be disintegrated into the slime. And just a disclaimer, but please be careful when you're using scissors. I know it looks like I'm aggressively like stabbing the slime right now, but it's only because I'm using double speed for this video. So if you are going to plan on using scissors, be careful or have adult supervision when doing so. The next step you're going to do is you're going to knead in your slime. It's going to be tough at first because of how tough the dried up slime is, but just keep on kneading and stretching it. Then you're going to add in some lotion. I'm using Cetaphil cream, but any type of lotion works. You're going to add about a teaspoon or tablespoon, depending on how much slime you're trying to fix. And you're just going to start kneading it into your slime. It's going to get super messy because of the dye in the slime, but just keep on adding and keep on mixing in the lotion and add an activator if necessary. This is what your slime should look like after you finish adding in the lotion and kneading it. You may also need to run it under hot water like I did to make it even more soft. And you can see that there are some chunks that are unable to be mixed in. You can just go ahead and take them out and your slime should be just like new. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like button so I know what to do in the future. And also comment down some slime video ideas that you would like to see on my channel. And if you haven't already, subscribe for weekly slime videos like this one. And also press that notification bell so you get notifications for when I post. And finally, if you haven't entered my giveaway yet, please do so. It's an awesome way to get free slime. So that's it and I will hope to see you guys in my next video.